Welcome everybody. It's Jason from Lipsy's and we've got a special guest. We've got Adam Ranola from Canic. And we're super excited to talk about one of the hottest guns that was at SHOT Show this year. They're about to hit the market. It's the new Canic TTI. Adam, tell us about the backstory on this gun. Absolutely. So the Canic TTI Combat, while it kind of seemed like it came on the market out of nowhere in January, there's been about two years worth of effort put into it. Um, and this all started, uh, Canic USA reached out to Taryn Butler from TTI, uh, Terran Tactical Innovations, about two years ago. Um, had some conversation back and forth about you know, what he was doing, what his dreams were in terms of aspirations of the next step in you know, his influence in the firearms industry and kind of where Canik was going. And there was this interesting relationship already there because our team captain on the shooting team is Nils Jonasson. And Nils Jonasson obviously over the last five years has just done some amazing things. He's been pretty dominant. Yeah, he's won every world championship he could win, national title, done at some things at nationals with a Canik 9mm that everybody else is running $5,000 40 cows and he's out there winning it. First time it's ever been done. So Taryn was like, yeah, I love the gun. I love how you guys have embraced Nils. Let's have a conversation about what it would look like. So we got together. Um, he started looking at the guns and I flew out there and he's shooting some of the different guns. He said, I love this gun but I would want to make some changes. And I hope that's okay. So no, that's kind of what <laughs> that's, we're that's here what for. Yeah, yeah, this is what, you know, I mean, you guys, you've been doing Glocks and, and, you know, 2011s for years, and those are some great guns, but you made your own changes to that, and that's why people paid top dollar for it, and there's right. in such demand. So the first thing he said is, uh, you know, I want a really aggressive grip texture. Like, no problem. And then he wanted a side cut, so no problem. And he kept going on and on to the point where I was like, I'm going to need to check with engineering a little bit, you know, like I, <laughs> a little I, bit beyond I might be over committing a little bit. I didn't right. even know this was possible, but we were able to find that that creation that he wanted and do it in a sense that uh, we were able to do it in a mass produced so we could ensure the quality, ensure the repeatability and really important for us and for him on this to ensure that we could create it at a price that the blue collar guy could uh, uh, you know, afford. You know, there's great guns out there that he's created from, you know, his custom Glocks that he's done to the Sand Viper, the Pit Viper, but the closest thing out there is like three grand. Right. Plus, it's pretty long wait for this. Over well. two years, yeah, right. exactly. And so, we wanted to make something that was repeatable, that was affordable, and ultimately both Canik and Taryn could be proud of and do it at a price that, like I said, everybody can afford. And we were able to do that at under $1,000. That's correct. You know, it's funny, I think a lot of people at SHOT were really surprised at this yeah. this you know this venture together with that but the response we had so many people come to the booth and say I got to get in on this deal when, when is this gun coming out because not only do you have Taryn's input but the gun just looks cool yeah it looks good we took it out Dale and Rob and I took it out to the range and put a bunch of rounds through it and we didn't want to stop shooting I mean literally we ran out of ammo and we contemplated going and running back and get some more ammunition yeah. because we were having that much fun Rob actually shot hit the target for once it was awesome. It was the first gun we've ever tested where he's like putting them all in the same hole at, at 10, 15 yards. He's like, I'm keeping this gun. He actually had to have a conversation <laughs> of what, what an MOA actually is. Yeah, yeah right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So, but, you know, it was just really impressive how good he shoot. And all the Canon guns that we've tested over the years have just been punched so above their weight as yeah. far as accuracy, reliability, uh, the controls. I mean, the guns are just on their, even the standard guns so shootable yeah and when you put all these features in especially that comp it's one of the flattest shoot nine millimeters ever shot yeah it, it's really special and so you know there was some really cool things that Taryn did that we had never even thought of on a canic to really give yourself that control and repeatability in terms of follow-up shots like I said the aggressive aggressive grip texturing the lightning cuts on the slide you know he loved one of the things he didn't change was that the 90 degree aluminum diamond cut trigger you know yeah. with a under four pound trigger pull and a 1.3 millimeter reset he said, if it's not broke, don't fix it That's there. That's right. Um, yeah, I don't think it can really get that trigger any better anyways. Yeah. You know, we've got the plus three TTI base pad that comes with it. Um, you know, one of the things that's noticeable, and this one is one of the versions that's actually going to be available out the gate, is one with a uh, new low profile optics cut on the slide. So one of the new hotness in the market right now is that Trigicon SRO. Yep. It's a great optic. Um, but it sat high on a lot of guns. So we worked really hard to have a low profile sit on that. So you have the ability to co-witness your optics. New optics on it, so a new, a new enhanced rear sight and that fiber, uh, that very thin, long, high sitting fiber, uh, carbon or the, the fiber in the green. Yeah. So that you know, really allows pops. in a lot of light, exactly. Yeah. 
So we, we you know, designed that and everything on there kind of makes sense for how it allows that repeatability in terms of shooting. But then he said, all right, I want a ported, fluted barrel. And I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> and I want a compensator, an actual proprietary compensator. So that was something, like I said, I wasn't going to um, overstep my bounds right. and have a bunch of engineers very angry with me. But they were able to do it. And not only that, he said, I don't want it to be threaded because I wanted to be able to use it in competition. So they were able to create a proprietary locking system for this compensator. That's a quick one-on, one-off with the punch, locks in and off. And it's reducing muzzle rise 27%. Wow. Yeah, it, you could really tell it on the range. We were shooting some fairly hot ammo, it's like 124 grain plus piece stuff. Yeah. And it, it was very comfortable. It wasn't as snappy as some of the more traditional polymer yeah. guns. Um, but yeah, I, I think everything he did on this was really specked out really well. Obviously, I love the color scheme. We've, we've done a lot of bronze stuff yeah, in the past. A, but it, was, it was a little, I was like, I'm gonna have to have this conversation with Lipsy's. <laughs> but no, it, it just, it really turned out good. And the gun is not only shoots well, but it's got a good striking look to it too. And it, typical Canic fashion, it comes with a lot of cool stuff in the box as well. Yeah, and if you notice, a lot of the marketing material really has kind of showed off it locked with this because it is so unique. Like yep. you said, it, that those profile lines are so different than what you've seen before. Something you touched on a second ago, talking about the different uh, rounds mm -hmm. in the shoot, you know, from really hot ammo to even some low grain ammo, you know. Taron is really famous for shooting from the hip and some of these, these ammos that he used for that are lower grain. So that was one of the things that we thought of on this. Like you talked about all the bells and whistles that come with, from, you know, a customizable or a brand new custom holster with the first one we've ever done a retention knob. If you actually look at the holster, it's actually got the lines of the gun. So when the gun is in the holster, it actually stays true to the lines yeah. the, from the serrations to the logos to the trigger design. Pretty neat. Um, but one of the things that's really cool, just a small afterthought that was really cool, was it actually comes with a second recoil, recoil spring. spring. Yeah, I noticed that yeah. in the box. Yeah. And that is for the lower grain ammo. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And that's just something that was thrown in with no additional cost to kind of give you that optimization in terms of however you want to run it. When you go through all the stuff, you can tell that a gun guy put it together yeah. because it's all little things that most gun guys have to go source themselves after the fact. And you start doing the math on how much a holster yeah. costs, how much an extra recoil is, and then not only that, you gotta wait for it. You right. order it, you wait in two weeks. You want right. Like you said, you want to get out there and have fun. And I mean, and even to like the, the challenge coin and things like this. We gave out like 500 of these between SHOT Show and EWA, and you know, they're online for a pretty penny right yeah. now. But yeah. it comes with that. And what I think is the most important thing, and I think what you said hits it right on the button, is it's the first time a TTI gun has been out there that you're not afraid to go shoot. Yeah. I don't know about you, I want a Pit Viper, I want a Sand Viper, but if I'm spending five to seven thousand sure. dollars on a gun, I don't know if I want how, how many investment. rounds I'm going to shoot through it. You it's know a big I mean? investment. Well, I and mean, think about it, for especially somebody who's aspiring to get out there and maybe do some competition. You could, for which you could go pay for one of those super high-end custom guns. You could buy this gun and enough ammo to actually get good enough to be right. out there and compete. To be good, yeah, to yeah, become proficient. And, and if this gun gets a little banged up, you're not like losing your mind right. because it's a $1,000 gun, which is a lot of money, but it, it, in terms of where, like you said, it's relative. It's well, very, and I think relative. a lot of serious guys will probably buy two. Yeah. Because they're going to go one out there to just bang away at the range with and then one to keep, you know, vet it, but then pretty much pristine to go out and actually use in competition or to, if they decide they want to carry it or whatever else. But this is a gun that, if you, especially if you want to introduce somebody to shooting and let them have fun, this is a great gun to yeah. do that with at a price that's really, when he was telling us the price of the shot show, I was like, you can't, this is no way this gun is that affordable. Yeah. But I mean, even the one that comes with the optic, the MSRP of 1100 bucks. 1100 bucks. I mean, that's, that's just unbelievable. And it did not require a plate to put no. on air, so it mounts really low. Um, the sight picture's clean. Yeah. That the, um, the mechanics optics are really, really good. Yeah, We've 50, used them Yeah, 50,000 hour battery life, you know, lifetime warranty on the housing, three year warranty on the glass and the laser. I mean, these things are built to run and they're built to be attainable. You yeah. know, we want people to be proud of it. What I thought you thought was really interesting is some guys will buy two. And this one, we're designing it, we're, we're building it so that it'll be available so you can find two, right. which I think is a big thing. Some of our guns that we've come out with over the last couple of years, have been in huge demand, but we haven't been able to support the demand with the yeah. volume. This is one we do polymer I, guns. I think well. it was smart to go polymer yeah. on this. And there's, I mean, you know, if you ask Taryn, he's really excited about the future with this, and there's going to be some other iterations of some cool things we'll do down the line. But right now, we're really proud of this, really focused on getting it out there, and it's coming in just a couple weeks from where we're talking today. That's great. Well, if you're very interested in this gun, and I don't know how you couldn't be, go to lipsies.com and find a dealer in your area and get one of these on order. 
They're gonna be super, super popular, so be patient, but we're gonna get them out there. The great thing is Canik has the ability to scale this gun. It's not a limited edition. It's one that they'll probably keep in the catalog for, I imagine, for a long time. Yeah, this one's this one's, uh, this one's an anchor now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where else can uh, everybody find Canik? So yeah, so CanikUSA.com. There's going to be a lot of information on this gun, everything from the launch video to the basic specs that'll be kicked over to you guys as well, um, to obviously our social media platforms, Canik USA. I uh, got a ton of information there. And uh, TTI Innovations, you know, TTI.com, uh, Taryn's social media as well. He's got a lot of information about this. You're gonna see him run it. You're gonna see some big names um, on the Hollywood side running it. And let's just say- Think you're gonna see this on the silver screen at all? There's gonna be some really big, big uh, cameos that this gun's making in the upcoming future. We're really excited about. And that was kind of, was taken into consideration when we did this. You know, it feels good to see something that you yeah, run absolutely. out there. And, and, and man, this is just the beginning. Well, that's great, Adam. Well, thanks for coming down and showing us absolutely, the gun. Brother. It was even more of a pleasure to go out and shoot it. So go check it out, and until next time, aim higher.